basically anything that you would put out on display, like someone has already bought it and regretted it and returned it to a thrift store. <laughs> so this one, I might get roasted on, but everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for dropping by my little corner of the internet. Today I have a video that I'm so excited for. Oh, it's just like the part of me that loves like the thrill of finding a good deal and knowing that I saved money on something that I could have like spent a bunch of money on somewhere else. I don't know why but that gives me like the biggest dopamine hit. That's why we need to talk about things that you are buying new that you could be getting way cheaper used. First things first, let's talk. Look at my cute little snowman here. He doesn't have a name. If you could help me come up with a name for him in the comments, that would be great. But he's got like a little flickering lamp. He lights up blue. He's so happy to just be here and I love him. And I paid $6 for him. Whereas like, I don't know what I would have paid for him at like a home sense or at the bay or something like that. Holiday decorations, especially for something that you're only going to use like once a year. There's so many high quality holiday decorations just waiting to be picked up at thrift stores. Buy your holiday stuff at a thrift store. Okay, these are my like official sticky notes <laughs> of all of the different items. Okay, similar to holiday decor, we have candle holders, we have vases, we have knickknacks basically anything that you would put out on display like someone has already bought it and regretted it and returned it to a thrift store <laughs> so you might as well go to a thrift store first if you're looking to decorate a certain room of your house i got one of my favorite vases i love the look of concrete and right now a bunch of people are regretting their concrete purchases and are returning concrete stuff to thrift stores and i am benefiting from it cookie tins don't go buy your cookie tins new at the dollar store. You can get like cookie tins for like 25 cents at the thrift store. You just have to wash them out. Same with like baking stuff. Like if you're looking for like cookie shapes or um, baking dishes and things like that, thrift stores always have a ton of those for like a fraction of the price of what you pay new. Thing that you're, man, now my cat is meowing. Pepper. She has three legs, if you haven't met her yet. Come here. Her nickname is Pepper Three Stepper. Pepper Three Stepper. There she goes. Organizational items. A tisket, a tasket, a basket, a basket. I'm proud of that one. Give me a like just for that. For real, baskets and like organizational items are so expensive if you buy them new and you can get a ton of them used at thrift stores. Almost all of the baskets that I have in my place, I bought via a thrift store. So this one is a little bit iffy. It's furniture. You have to be really careful about who you're buying it from. You have to make sure that it doesn't have bed bugs or pests in it. You have to make sure that you're dealing with someone reputable because you're likely gonna be giving them hundreds of dollars and you have to deal with the delivery and things like that. So I feel like this is like for more advanced like thrift shoppers. At the same time, if you are like at that level where you feel comfortable buying furniture, I love my couch. I would have never been able to afford this couch new and I got it used and I like just kept on hunting Facebook Marketplace for it. And there was other couches that I saw that were from less reputable sources. So I had to play the waiting game a little bit, but if you're willing to wait, you can get some really great deals on furniture for super, super cheap. And this is where like those huge savings come in that you can like put towards something that you wanna spend your money on more, like a vacation or like a reno or things like that. Books, when I really needed to start saving on money, um, something that I started doing, I would get the book from the library first, make sure that I really liked the book, and then if I really wanted it, I would buy it new. That being said, there's used bookstores that have stuff for super cheap. If you're looking for a certain book and you have a used bookstore in your area, some used bookstores take requests. Like I was able to complete a series of books 
and get them completely used by just putting in requests at my used bookstore and waiting for the books to roll in. Used bookstores are really a great resource and so is your local libraries. Especially for cookbooks, don't buy cookbooks new because you don't know if you're gonna like the recipes in them. I have started getting cookbooks from the library, finding out if I like the recipes first, and then I know if I want to invest in having the cookbook and, so, and knowing that I like want to have the recipes on hand. <laughs> I used to spend so much money on books. Books used to be one of my biggest spending categories and my discretionary spending categories that I've cut back on, uh, and I'm really proud of myself for that. The next is kitchen items, so things like dish sets. You can get brand new dish sets, like really, really nice dish sets, like nicer than you might get at like Walmart for the same price. Get something that, you know, came from like a designer or something like that. Also like things like salad spinners, never buy a salad spinner new. There are so many salad spinners just sitting in thrift stores waiting, waiting to be spun. Picture frames, a lot of times you can get cheap picture frames. Picture frames was one of those things that I was like really surprised was so expensive in adulthood, like garbage cans and toilet paper and picture frames. <laughs> but I've been able to thrift some picture frames for some pictures that I've wanted to hang and I have um, been able to save quite a bit of money that way. You do have to hunt through like some chipped ones and stuff like that, but I think the hunt is half the fun throw blankets. Once again, you want to wash these as soon as you get home just to make sure that there's no pests in them or anything like that. Um, but you can get some really, really nice quality throw blankets that people have donated to thrift stores for super cheap. Like way better than that like $5 like fuzzy throw blanket that you got like impulse buy at the Walmart checkout kind of thing. I had bed bugs and that like traumatized me for life. So now I'm like super, super careful about washing my linens as soon as I get home. But if I don't have time to wash them and it's like not the ideal situation, but it's better than nothing, I will put them into a garbage bag and store it outside on my balcony or store it outside somewhere and until I can wash it and then bring it into my house. And that's just a little uh, secondhand tip that I have for you guys. So this one I might get roasted on, but used high-end skincare. So like things like Glow Recipe that you can get at Sephora for like 40, 50 bucks, I have been able to get like for $10 because someone tried it once or twice and it didn't work with their skin. And so they're selling it on Facebook Marketplace. So again, this is like one of those things that you kind of have to be like a little bit more of a seasoned veteran <laughs> when it comes to shopping secondhand. There are people selling fraudulent skincare out there, so you kind of have to go off the vibes of whether or not they're legit. Like, I have yet to pay for my watermelon glow recipe toner full price because I have just been getting it used because it doesn't work for some people's skin and I just like have it flagged on Facebook Marketplace search as something that comes up when someone posts it to Facebook Marketplace and then I get it like 20, 30 off the retail price. Workout clothes, you're just gonna sweat in them anyway. So many nice workout clothes that they might have like made a new year's resolution that they were gonna work out a ton and then they didn't and so they like donated a bunch of really nice like hardly used workout clothes to Goodwill or Value Village. I cannot bring myself to buy workout clothes new. I just can't unless they're on like a really deep sale or something because I know that there are so many good quality workout clothes that have been barely used that are sitting in thrift stores just waiting for me to find for like four dollars. Wedding items. If you are trying to do a wedding on a budget, getting wedding items used, you're gonna use it once so you might as well try and get it used. A lot of times you can get tools for way cheaper than you would pay full price and sometimes you're able to afford like a better quality like brand used than you could brand new. Uh, I find that's true with like a lot of things like appliances and dishes and clothing and things like that. I can afford things used that I would never be able to afford new. Arts and crafts stuff, there's usually a section at like some of the bigger thrift stores. Paints can be touch and go because they can be like dry and crusty and 
not really good. You can get some really like cheap canvases and yarn and stuffing. Fig plants are like so expensive, so, so expensive new. And you can get them at the thrift store. There's usually a few fake plants just sitting at the thrift store just waiting to be picked up. Same with plant pots and plant stands. I like thrifting a lot of my like outdoor plant pots and things because it's just a pot that holds things. Like unless I'm going for a very specific aesthetic, usually I just need a big pot and that's something that I can get used for way, way less than I would pay new. And I discovered that the hard way last summer when I paid like 30 or $40 for a giant pot. And then I went on Facebook marketplace and people were selling plant pots for like $10. I was kicking myself. Office supplies like hole punches and staplers and things like that. Generally someone has cleared it out and has sent it to a thrift store and you can get that for way cheaper than you would brand new. Costume jewelry. The thrift stores have been through all of the trends that are already coming through stores. So costume jewelry, I almost never buy new. I almost always buy it used. And the thrift store has a huge selection of costume jewelry. Sometimes you just need to give it a, a little clean with some vinegar or you can look up some DIY jewelry cleaning solutions if it's a little bit more delicate. Decorative linens, so things like tablecloths and curtains and things like that you can get at thrift stores, which I don't think a lot of people realize. Small kitchen appliances, I almost never buy those new because I would spend so much money because I, I want all of the small kitchen appliances, especially like the trendy ones, like the air fryers and things like that, like George Foreman grills, coffee grinders, immersion blenders, things like that. Test it at the thrift store if it works. Like why pay a hundred dollars per small kitchen appliance when you could get it for like 20 bucks at the thrift store. Shoes, you can get some really good quality brands or, you know, cheap shoes that have been broken in already that you don't have to like break your feet to break in. My mom, she always gets compliments on her shoes and she, I've, I rarely see her buy new shoes. She's always, <laughs> when we go to the thrift store, I know that she's in the shoe aisle thrifting shoes. I asked my aunt, who is also a seasoned thrifter, what I should include in this video. And she said, clothes you have to have, but don't want. <laughs> I thought that was a perfect category. So like work clothes and things like that, like clothes that you don't want to wear and that you don't want to spend a lot of money on, but you have to like buy because you need them for an event or you need them to go to work or something like that. Go to the thrift store and stock up there, so especially if it's something that you don't want to be spending your money on in the first place. Sleeping bags. My mom has always been able to get us quality sleeping bags for super cheap by just buying sleeping bags from the thrift store and washing them when we get home. It's something that I think a lot of people don't think to thrift and they're like really expensive to buy new, uh, especially if you're getting a good quality one, but you can get some really good quality ones from the thrift store. Belts. Belts can be super expensive and the thrift store usually has a ton of belts for you to buy. And I like, they're like shoes, like, they're so expensive to buy new. Like the thrift store has so many options. Just like buy your belts used. So I did this video through the lens of trying to save as much money as possible. And that's because I am a frugal person and frugal doesn't necessarily mean cheap. It just means like I really think about where I spend my money. I'd rather spend my money in some ways rather than others. And so I try to find savings where I can. So that way I can like you know, spend money on what I really value on like big ticket items, especially since money has been kind of scarce for me. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have anything that you recommend buying used to save money versus buying new, feel free to comment down below. Thank you so much if you stayed to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. See everyone, bye.